प्लीज गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सौरभ गुड इवनिंग सर प्लीज सी डाउन थैंक यू सर सो सौरभ इज योर फर्स्ट नेम करेक्ट यस सर वेर आर यू राइट नाउ कमिंग फ्रॉम सर एक्चुअली आई ट्रेवल फ्रॉम कुशीनगर टूडे सो आई हैव दिस इज माय फर्स्ट डे इन दिल्ली लाइक इन दिस मंथ इन दिस ईयर एंड हाउ वाज द ट्रैवल आई सर इट वाज नाइस द ट्रेन वाज ऑन टाइम सो नॉट मच ऑफ अ डिफिकल्टी एंड इट वाज नॉट क्राउडेड नो सर नॉट मच Mm-hmm. you have a excellent uh, daft semester merit award scholarship yes, hmm? yes sir and uh, up government uh, award for class 10 eh? yes, sir. Hmm. and uh, you were teaching at iit delhi yes i was a teaching assistant mm mm-hmm. what were you teaching uh, sir fluid mechanics and civil engineering excellent You write gazels? Yes, sir. Would you like to let us listen to one? Yes, sir. Certainly. Uh, uh, sir, it goes on sustainable development, mm-hmm. and uh, the lines are Jodesh, Jodesh, Shahar, Trucks' ki lehre aayi, Jodesh, Shahar, Trucks' ki lehre aayi, Horn ke shore se lekin hill padi dadi ki char paayi, ab sadak gaon mein aayi, ab sadak gaon mein aayi, mila shram gharo mein roti aayi, mila shram gharo mein roti aayi. नीम का वो पेड़ कटा लेकिन चली गई सदियों पुरानी परछाई अब सड़क गांव में आई थैंक यूंगली इन कुशीनगर दैट्स ऑल्सो इन उत्तर प्रदेश कुशीनगर वट्स अगर Uh, sir it's 30 around 35 lakhs according to 2011 census and what might be the population now uh, sir uh, uh, as, sir that we can extrapolate according to 2% growth uh, per year i i think so sir i'm not sure all right today's newspapers yes sir do list for us four five important news items yes sir three events within india two outside india yes sir uh, bullet points yes sir uh, sir uh, events inside india so uh, there is a speculation that uh, government in bihar uh, so nitish kumar will uh, switch to uh, nda sir second major news is uh, regarding uh, the republic day what happened uh, the tableaus the nari shakti uh, which was displayed the third major news did you did you watch the uh, on television Uh, no sir i was packing then so <laughs> okay all right <laughs> and uh, third major news i would say sir uh, uh, sir uh, uttarakhand uh, uh, uttarakhand government uh, they have said that they will bring ucc in their uh, state assembly mm-hmm. sir events outside india so icj international criminal uh, international court of justice Uh, they have said that uh, israel should not commit genocide, genocidal acts in uh, gaza but they have not called for truce and uh, last uh, like the fifth, second most important news uh, would be sir in alabama a state in uh, usa so first time nitrogen based death uh, sentence was awarded now did the icj say that israel should not commit genocide or what exactly were the words genocidal acts in gaza should not be committed should not be committed that was the words sir exact words i am forgetting sir okay now by when israel has to give a report uh, sorry, of compliance sir. i don't know sir i have not read that okay please sir thank, thank you <coughs> so sora we belong to kushinagar with the mahapari nirvan to place now uh, you obviously would have gone to Mah- mahapari nirvan sthal doesn't it strike you tremendously that it's such an important place and the government of india does not have any facilities the this temple that temple they want to see the best idol you go to thai temple huh? so what should government of india do be it bodh gaya be it shravasti be it uh, kushinagar all these places the countries concerned korea japan said they are coming and building 
So yes. should not government of India and government of UP do something about it, or you think this is fine? It's act of faith on their part. Uh, Ma'am, I believe uh, the individual countries have temples. I mean, all main countries like Chinese, Japanese, all these countries have. And uh, Chinese, I don't think Chinese they have. temple is also there. The one you go to is Thai temple in yeah, Thai the temple is also one, yeah. there. I am not, not disputing that they are there. I am asking you whether you agree with this policy of government of India or UP government not doing anything and allowing these people to come and do everything. Uh, Ma'am, I would say uh, it's boosting tourism there. So, I don't see a major threat. I mean, uh, by building their building, it's right. not okay. acting to... Now, let's go to this controversy about Sita's birthplace in Mithila, which, which Mr. Nitish Kumar at that point of time wanted to develop. Now, government of India did not want a reverse logic. Uh, so, now why not that? Uh, Ma'am, this I have not read. Oh, Alright, never mind. So, you were business analyst in McKinsey. What were you doing? What were sectors were you looking at? Ma'am, uh, in my brief stint there, I worked in two projects. One was in uh, insurance space. Second was a public sector client, in fact, open network for digital commerce. Okay. okay. The first one was? In an insurance space. First one was insurance. Yes. Alright. Uh, tell me, um, you have done marketing, uh, no. you do have some idea of marketing, you don't have anything. Any Ma'am, um, I have not done a course at per se. Oh, but it's a general right. What are the difference between MEME marketing and Amul marketing? M-E-M-E. -M -E. Uh, Ma'am, can you repeat the question? What are the difference between MEME mar marketing, M-E-M-E, -M -E, MEME marketing and Amul marketing? Ma'am, MEME marketing, uh, I am not aware. Amul marketing you know what is... a MEME is? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Ma'am, Amul basically publishes cartoon everywhere uh, based on national events and what is in news. Uh, in that way, that is their uh, uh, like uh, unique thing about them. Meme marketing, uh, I'm not aware. You have to think. Okay. Now, uh, we talk a lot about China and tackling China and Chinese threat and stand up Bharat and sit down Bharat and all the Bharats. What do you think should be the pathway to import substitution from China? Which industry should we have? Which states do we look at? What incentive should we give? Be very brief. Yes. You get my three questions. Uh, Ma'am, second question, can you repeat? First was, which industry or what sector should we go in for? Okay. Second was, states or industry that you have identified that, okay, Tata's are equipped for this. Or say, Noida is equipped for this. You know, yeah. what is the strength we really have? And thirdly, what are, are, should government be giving? In, can government give any incentives and should they be giving incentives? Yes, Ma'am, Ma can I take some time? Yes, take? certainly. It's a big question. Ma'am, uh, talking first about the sectors, uh, it would be first electronics because cheap electronics is China's SOP. And uh, Any particular aspect of electronics? Very wide. Ma'am, uh, Everything ranging from cheap toys, like even electronic toys, and then uh, mobile phones, a laptop, they are generally assembled uh, in China. What in terms of the bill from China would this be? The sectors within electronics that you're talking about. Um, you have to look at both. Capability, sensitivity, plus size. Uh, Ma'am, percentage-wise, I'm okay, not all sure. Right, all right, never mind. Go ahead. Uh, Ma'am, second would be... Uh, Ma'am, regarding all the low cost manufacturing, uh, like uh, ranging from like even the domestic things which we like what we buy in Diwali, uh, even Diyas are being imported from China. Mm. So they have customized their production line in that sense. Uh, second sector, ma'am, uh, apart from electronics would be, uh, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, sir. It's 21st century. Yes, sir. For a growth or equality or whatever, you feel religion is more important or science? Sir, uh, religion and shine both have uh, their own importance. And uh, don't be diplomatic. Yes, See sir. the what from the development of Europe and the development of Asia. Sir, if I have to choose one, uh, I would say, sir, shrines because shrine have also an economy and angle to attach to it, like religious tourism gets promoted and uh, that, that can boost to economy. Uh, 
not shrine, I am science. Uh, sir, sorry, sir. Sign, uh, sir, sir religion versus sorry. science. Yes, sir. No science. I am sorry, sir. Sorry, how oh, that that will make completely yes, sir. <laughs> a different. Sir, uh, Albert Einstein made a very famous statement about this. Uh, if you allow, I can quote. Uh, so he said that religion without science is uh, blind, and science without religion is lame. So, sir, herein lies the complementarity of both. But, sir, 21st century emphasis should be on science and religion should be uh, restricted to personal sphere. Or now, take this model to Bihar. Yes, sir. Your sociology. Yes, sir. You belong to that. Nobody can be more authentic. Yes, sir. So what steps should be taken so that Bihar is the society can be away from the feudalism, casteism, everything? Yes, sir. Sir, on uh, scientific lines, uh, the progress? It's, you are independent. Too. Okay. Uh, sir, I believe when when economic development will happen, uh, automatically a lot of problems would get and That solved. will not happen for the last 300 years. Uh, sir. Srinam, Marishas, now South, Southern part, Delhi, that will not happen. How, how that should happen? Now industry is coming, in Tamil Nadu investment is coming, yes. Gujarat is coming, nothing is coming through Bihar. What will your recommendation? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Bihar has a specific geographical disadvantage of being landlocked and uh, there has been political instability because of which uh, investment has not been there, law and order issues. So, sir, Delhi is also landlocked, Punjab is also landlocked. Yes, sir. Uh, sir uh, a uh, specific recommendation of for Bihar would be a strong law and order, single window clearance, uh, ease of doing business promotion, uh, incentives for setting up industries, uh, skilling of youth, uh, promoting... Oh, all these are good points for SC. You worked in Mekaji. Yes, sir. With his salary. Now, so, and what is so bad about private sectors? The word over, now word is going for private, yes, not sir. governments. Yes, sir. So you, you left that and you are coming to the government like they, uh, Indian governments. Yes, sir. They are suffocating sometimes. Uh, sir. sir, first of all, I didn't had any hate for private sector. Uh, I really enjoyed my time there. And uh, But the reasons for me to join civil services were twofold. Uh, one, sir, professional and personal as well. Professional, sir, in McKinsey I, uh, and in a management consulting role while I was enjoying, I felt that it was advisory in nature. I didn't had uh, decision making capabilities, which I felt I could get in civil services. And, sir, uh, secondly, at a personal level, I felt coming from an aspirational region and having been part of prestigious institution, a sense of moral ob obligation to give back was also there. Just last, you say, boy, what is this gratitude journalism? Yes, journalism is always very objective, fourth stage. Uh, what do you mean by gratitude journalism? Sir, it's uh, gratitude journaling, not uh, journalism which I have mentioned. So, sir, journaling in general is similar to diary writing. There are some differences. Uh, sir, there are major like uh, many types of journaling out of which gratitude journaling is a hobby in which when we write about things which we are grateful for in the past time frame. Like past okay. sir. Thank you, sir. You just said that you were working for the ONDC. Yes, sir. What is ONDC all about? As a layman, please explain to me the details and how is it different from Amazon and Flipkart? Yes, sir. Sir, ONDC stands for Open Network for Digital Commerce. Uh, sir, the major difference from Amazon and Flipkart is it is not a platform, it is a network and it is based on unbundling of e-commerce. And the What is the difference between a platform and a network? Yes, sir. Sir, a network, it will have multiple platforms on it, like the logistics partner, the buyer app, the seller app, uh, the technology service provider. So multiple platform would be based on that network. It will not have its uh, own network per se. It will not have its own delivery agents. It will not have its own. Uh, oh, but when I order uh, something on the ONDC, the thing comes to me straight away from the seller only. I I can't see any you know delivery partners separately or I can't see anything separately. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, 
the user cannot see it in the current setup okay. but it is not a delivery agent of ondc it is a delivery agent of a logistic service provider like okay. ship rocket or uh, there are many um, companies which provide so that's service. how i when i order some food from a restaurant on the ondc sometimes the zomato guy delivers it yes sir so they are basically utilizing all the resources okay, of okay. Uh, everything so what is the crux of the difference between this network and the amazon and flipkart network yes commercial sir. networks sir the need uh, the the need for ondc in itself reflects what is the difference so there were allegation that the major e-commerce platform players were not very inclusive to small sellers small retailers so ondc has come about to solve this problem that there will be no preferential treatment of sellers on the app there will be transparency and equity of all major of or even the smallest retailer and it uh, it aims to tap into the untapped market of e-commerce in india you see the um, uh, in the amazon also they are willing to you know take up the smallest retailer also yes, provided they pay some fee yes, a commission sir. so what about the ondc who is putting the bill Uh, sir, uh, uh, there are different buyer apps. So ONDC per se is backed by public sector banks. If we look into the board, uh, but the bill is not being uh, of onboarding the uh, small sir is not. But who is building up the infrastructure, the servers, the you know, staff uh, for maintaining the network? Yes, sir. Who is footing the bill for that? sir uh, for the uh, ondc network it is uh, being funded by government of india mm. like uh, i think around 500 crore so around. they are not charging any commission from anybody uh, commission wise sir uh, it is to for the buyer app to charge the commission to uh, buyer app is basically someone like who is onboarding the seller on that app seller app um, i am sorry sir seller app will charge the commission from the uh, small seller sir it is not ondc charge but i can't see any apps on the you know when i open the platform i don't see any apps i see the sellers directly yes sir. so actually you would be operating ondc through paytm uh, mm. i believe so mm. so paytm is in that case a buyer app okay so paytm is the uh, yes. app okay so paytm will charge commission from them yes so somebody is charging which is not free yes sir sir uh, but uh, the current uh, in the current setup then paytm will you know start uh, Uh, th- then Paytm will show only the ones which are boarded onto it, or Paytm will show the entire network on the ONDC. Sir, Paytm will show uh, the sellers which are on- onboarded on it. It can also show, uh, but the sellers have a choice. They can be displayed on ONDC not only through Paytm, but also through, let's say, tomorrow if Phone Pay do- joins ONDC network, then uh, the seller will be shown on Phone Pay's app also. Then the seller will be sh- uh, shown on uh, Google Pay app also. So basically, we are back to the same problem. Like Amazon is, you know, um, uh, prioritizing its own people who pay more. Uh, similarly, Paytm will also show those who are, you know, paying them a b- better commission. Yes. You can't see everybody then. Sir, sir, but uh, the basically the uh, the. the how will the sellers be shown to ondc network will not be displayed by paytm but by ondc's uh, review system sir a uh, review system and all the network sir okay sorry we are taking up time we are trying to understand what the yeah. ondc is <laughs> no problem <laughs> it's a good lecture okay thank you very much thank you sir see uh, which sociological thinkers thinker you are very familiar Uh, sir my favorite thing sir okay do don't uh, discuss that let us say suicide is going on among youth yes sir what should be the right interpretation and what is the solution using sociology as the discipline yes sir uh, sir uh, whenever a discussion of suicide comes so from a sociological perspective it's emil durkheim's theory which is widely discussed he gave a typology of Uh, four types of suicide which occur in society anomic egoistic altruistic and fatalistic sir uh, what the youth suicide are happening today are cannot be put in one bracket of suicide largely they can be put into anomic suicide that there is normlessness in society and uh, there is also sen- sometimes sense of over regulation also so uh, and a sense of distrust which leads to anomie like situation as per emil durkheim so uh, this is 
the explanation of why it is happening, sir. And what is the solution? Yes, sir. Sir, first of all, greater emphasis on mental health is the first solution. Uh, currently, it's a taboo topic, it's a stigma topic. So having greater number of psychiatrists, mental health counselor will solve the problem. Secondly, sir, uh, I feel that... Uh, so, you find sociological problems are answered by psychology? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, suicide is... We are talking about mass, uh, your sociological problem, not individual suicide. Yes. You are talking about society, large number of incidents of suicide. Yes. It is a sociological problem. Yes, sir. The solution should come from sociology. Yes, sir. Sir, solution from society would be uh, moving towards a more moral society. Uh, in a moral society, as per Durkheim, uh, there will be less normlessness, less anomie. And uh, okay, anything from uh, Meads or uh, Robert K. Merton or anyone else? Yes, sir. Or Marx? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, Marx, although he has not directly commented on suicide, but will give an economic angle and economic perspective of why suicide is happening. He will relate it to unemployment of youth. And uh, or less salary, more uh, craving. Okay, meets. Uh, Mead would say, sir, I and me. Uh, I and me commit suicide. <laughs> sir, uh, Mead, I am. I am not able to explain. Sir, Martin, I I can say. Okay, Martin. Uh, sir, Martin would say in terms of functions and dysfunctions, latent and manifest. Mm. So he would say that uh, suicide is happening because of latent uh, dysfunction. Maybe social integration is not good enough. Yes, sir. That uh, inclusivity in the family and social system is not good enough. Yes, sir. That could be the explanation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because there is a distance from fa father, mother, and the child, uh, teacher, and the child, all kinds of things. Yes, sir. Anyway, last question is on civil engineering. Yes. And McKinsey, you use civil engineering anytime for consultancy? No, sir, it was completely uh, different. Yes. As a consultant, what will you give to administration if you are selected as IAS officer? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, uh, as consultant, I have gained some analytical skills, uh, good communication skills, and both the things I feel, sir, is extremely important as far as civil services is concerned. Which is also being reflected that uh, role of consultant is increasingly uh, is increasing in government setups, and uh, what can be better if I had that experience? Uh, maybe it is very small, but I come there, so the need for uh, external help could reduce. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Good. The formal part is over. We shall call you back very shortly for the informal part. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.